Welcome to our Lost Creek Care Center. Stop in the kitchen today, and today we're making a gluten-free, low-carb recipe that I actually created myself, and I'm going to pitch it to Matt and Andy and see what they think of it. Back in January, I was diagnosed with, uh, actually I was not diagnosed, I was told to go on a low-carb, gluten-free diet, and so suddenly I was finding myself trying to figure out how I could incorporate high protein, high protein was added in, high protein items into my diet and keep everything else. So I have tried all kinds of different things. I've waited until I've perfected the recipe oh, okay, good. to bring it to how you guys. How many times have you had this meal? Um, well, let's see, how many weeks have we had since January? <laughs> okay. I think so I've had it probably three out of five days every week oh, since wow. January. Okay. But I've, I've discovered that you can twist it and change it and, and make it creative okay. and different. But I'm going to give you my classic favorite recipe. So if you're looking for a low carb, if you are looking for a high protein, low carb, gluten free, soy free, it's not dairy free, but it could be. Basically anything that fits your needs, here we go. Does it taste like chocolate? Well, I'm sure you could adapt it to make it oh, taste really? like chocolate if you really want. Right. Like then I'm on board, let's go. <laughs> we could use Nutella instead of cream cheese. Yeah, All right, so we that'd are starting out with, it's actually a lettuce wrap adaption, so we need some lettuce. And I have done a lot of research on lettuce over the past few months. You can get huh. um, your regular, le you can get your regular iceberg lettuce, you can get, um, um, romaine lettuce. I've tried all of these and I found the best lettuce wraps are done with living lettuce. Living. Living lettuce. So guys, if you want to take a what, slice what of the living, living lettuce, well, it comes with the roots. I'm not exactly sure on all that, but the Do reason the I roots? like this is because it, it it's larger and you can yeah. fold around. Looks like a wrap. We're there ready. you go. Yeah, we're good to go. So okay. we're going to start out by spreading some spreads on here. And the first spread that I use is cream cheese. Hmm. Now, if you don't like cream cheese, you don't have to spread cream cheese on you your, your on on your thing or not. And I pick the Arla cream cheese because it's actually a very healthy cream cheese, and I am very picky on these kinds of things. Cream cheese, guys, would you like cream cheese on your thing? I would prefer not, but if you want to make one for yourself, there you go. For myself, huh? Yeah. I don't like cream cheese. Well, I how like about cheesecake. you could make two? You could make one for All me, right. and you could make one oh, for yourself. Oh, it's just for demonstration purposes. Here you go. One that you don't have to eat. And one that you can't. It's eat. not a big cream cheese guy. No, I don't like it know. either. You might, you I don't might like change. But Andy today. and I are we're picky, so we are very picky. So you at home try Kimmel some try some <laughs> cream cheese. <laughs> exactly. And you can see I like it What's because it adds. One? One. The next will be hummus. I add I red pepper hummus. Hummus. hummus next. And got, that's now a go. again, you can use whatever whatever type of hummus you like. I personally like the red pepper hummus. Here I got you a oh. brand new fresh fresh Thinking knife, so ahead. you don't have to you don't have to contaminate. It with uh, with ahead. the cream cheese. Do you, do you do a thin spread or do you really yeah. lap it on there? You know, what here's it? where it's really whatever you would like it to be. This is a very adaptable recipe. Dude, thin. I'm going with thin spread. All right. That's a good thin hummus. on one side, thick on the other. You know, again, I'm really picky on a lot of my things because there's a lot of um, packaged foods out there full of junk. So I look around, I read lots of labels. And it seems like the tribe label is pretty good. By the way, none of these products are paying us, so anything I say today is literally my own personal opinion. All right, so we've got the cream cheese, we've got the hummus, and you've got to put cream Oh, you added both? Oh, oh, I'm mine. sorry, I didn't realize we were mixing. <laughs> That's all right. Next, I put on some turkey. Now, you could pick any meat that you'd like. Um, you don't have to use turkey. Sometimes I've used chicken, sometimes I've used ground beef, or you can just go without any meat at all. But as I have been trying to add protein into my diet, I've been doing that. But another note, this is lunch meat turkey that I purchased from Aldi's. It's the Never Any brand. Did you know that some turkey has gluten in it? Never. Did not, did not know that. Yes, and a bunch of other things. So again, you've got to read your labels and you've got to know what you're actually How getting. How is there gluten in turkey? Well, we could explore the fact that a turkey never really is in the form of a turkey breast that you get in the store, but that's a whole nother segment yeah. that we don't need to go into. So I put in a slice of turkey. Next, I add in some Man's Power Blend Superfood. Now this is like a broccoli slaw type thing, and you've got some right here if you want to try it. Um, this is to add power. in some of your yeah. greens. Right. Now we're getting back some to Some of it. your greens. There's some carrots Now maybe there. if you don't have something like this, you could just do some spinach or you could add in some carrots. Sometimes I cut a pepper and I'll put a slice of pepper in there. Or maybe mm. I will a cut, pepper fan. maybe I'll cut a, uh, an avocado and put a slice of avocado in there. So here's where you got a little bit of meatiness to it. Okay. I mean, not like 
Substance. That's not really meaty, but it makes it right. thicker. thicker. All right, and the final thing that I put on top of my wraps is guacamole. Holy guacamole! And I like to use, even though it's more expensive, I like to use the minis because, you know, once you open up guacamole, right, it goes bad. you have to eat it. So really, you just need a dollop. Oh, a dollop. On top, on top of. Uh, I'm, out of, of I'm out of clean knives here. Oh, here we go. You okay. can use a spoon. It smells pretty good. I'm very picky on my that, guacamole. Is that a, was that a dollop? I, I would probably do a little more, more? Okay. than that. Did I, dollop? I would do one of these single serve guacamoles on probably four of them. So that's about how much you can oh, I, you can accomplish out I of that. Did an extra or dollop. you can do more, or you can do less. Again, this is a recipe that is designed to meet your personal dietary needs. It can be switched around, it can be changed, but ultimately there's no bread involved. There's no gluten involved. So you're involved. ready wrapping, Andy? Um, I think so. Are we done? That's right. All you have to do then, and don't forget, that's the cream this cheese is for one. You. Oh, that's for me. Yeah. All right. So all you do is wrap it up. Mm. That's good. Oh, thank you for making me no lunch, problem. Matt. Look at, look at me. Thank you so much. That's no really problem. Good. Let me try this. And there you go. You're all of a sudden, it. Yeah, the well, lettuce. What did you do? Holds just a wrap? Yeah, like a long time stuff. over. <laughs> that's really good. Hey. I've got one thumb up. She's made us a believer in a lot of different foods, <laughs> including in now uh, lettuce wrap with turkey. Okay, so if you are on a dietary restriction like so many of us have been placed on, here is a great option. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can also uh, adjust it to meet your personal desires. Really good. You enjoy it. Oh. Uh, the good hum that's good hummus. All right, good hummus. very good. Did you good. do block? Yeah, I did the block. Go to our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com, to view this video again or to see how to do this recipe. And of course, if you have any questions, you can always call us here at TV44.